I'm here at Brick Live at the NEC. I'm technically here to try out the Fujifilm 60mm 2.4 macro, you know, macro, small, Lego small, but I've got a feeling I'm gonna get very distracted. Let's go check it out. Alright my friend, we're going to photograph him now and see how we get on. So far, I'm not sure what I'm most excited about. This lens or the fact that there's some amazing, amazing Lego stuff here. A few specs on this lens, if you really needed it. It's one of the oldest lens in the Fuji X range, one of three that came out. I think this one way back in 2012. 2.4 aperture, nice aperture ring there. It's an R lens, nice metal. I think all metal. Maybe some high quality plastic in there too, but nice, nice build quality. An extremely large hood. I'm still undecided if that's needed at all times. I have noticed a little problem with flaring occasionally and I'm just going to leave it on there for now but it's a solid chunk of metal as well. The lens is not weather resistant but that's not a big deal with this kind of lens and it can focus up to or I should say down to I think it's 27 centimeters. I'll flash it up on the screen with the precise stats. Anyway doesn't weigh a fat lot we'll throw that up on the screen too. And you've probably guessed, yes, I'm definitely recommending this lens, but we'll let you know the caveats. Right, welcome to Dublin. More than halfway through Brick Live, absolutely loving it. May have forgotten to show you more of the camera, but clearly you're seeing the stills. I think the bokeh is good. The autofocus is fine for what it is, but it's not fast as you imagine, even on the XT bodies, even on the newest firmwares. Let's carry on and try not to get too distracted by all the cool Lego. So. Right then, let's go. A lot of people mock the size of that hood. To be honest, it's <laughs> it's not a big deal to me. Yeah, it's effectively as long as the actual body of the lens itself, but I don't know. I think it does the job. Well, I had a fantastic time at Brick Live. Technically, I was testing out this lens here. I'm gonna let you know my thoughts as soon as my brain's calmed down. I've just overheard somebody saying something about wow factor. Yeah, they were on about the Lego. Did this lens have it? Give me a moment and I'll let you know.
have more or less calmed down, had a cup of coffee, a Danish pastry, but yeah, I think we're gonna say this is a winner. I wouldn't take it over my 56.12, but if I was on a budget for portraiture, random stuff, I think it works just fine. From what I can see, I gotta get back and check out the images a bit more. You maybe have a better idea as you've seen the stills. Should really do this bit afterwards. But the bokeh is nice. You can pick this up for a couple hundred pounds, few hundred pounds second hand, because people think it's just not fast enough, but you can work with that. I mean, if I focus towards the table now, it's got it. Focus right into the distance, it's got it. And we're outdoors, so you're not gonna hear it particularly well anyway, but put it right by the mic. You can barely hear it, so outdoors, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Indoors, would you use it? Yeah, it doesn't really creak away too badly. Clearly I'm a bit jaded from all this Lego now. <laughs> it was good though, and the wind is really picking up, and this is a winner. So I'm gonna stop waffling. We've had a bit of fun. Let us know what you think more importantly. How does this lens stand up? Is it worth it instead of the 56? If you're on a budget, could well be the one. Yeah, you're not quite gonna get the same creaminess or speed. You get a bit more reach. It's a nice lens with a crazy big hood and a very weird filter. And actually, you'll see that that protrudes. Let me bring it a bit closer and focus on it. You'll see it protrudes, but as you focus, it goes through the whole range and so shoot there point somewhere closer and away you can see just how far that comes out it is quite comical really but who cares it just works it's a strange cap 39 mil filter thread but again doesn't really bother me that sort of stuff once you whack this thing on, it gives it a bit of protection and you don't actually see that craziness going on, if that really bothers you. So there we go. Leave a comment, let us know what you think. Thanks for listening to me waffle. Get down to the Brick Live event if you can. If you're into Lego, if you've got kids, definitely. They love it. A lot of people I spoke to were saying how it's therapeutic, how it just calms them down. We could always do with a bit of that. Take it easy, slow down the pace use this lens that's it same old outro but this time with more tree Lego off my mind now. Oh Lego, what have you done to me? <laughs>